If there's a color that's normally associated with your subject, you should probably use it in your map. You want to make things easy for people reading your map. Hi, I'm Heather and I'm a cartographer. In this video, I'll show you some examples of color choices in maps. I'll use ArcGIS Pro, but these examples are relevant to any mapping situation. I'm pretty sure that this map is showing how there's lots of sunlight at the equator and it's dark at the poles. And I think this one is showing how there's lots of biodiversity or maybe biomass at the equator and less at the poles. And I think this one is showing me that it's cold at the equator. Now, I know better, but when I look at this map, I can't help but think that the equator is cold and the poles are hot. Red equals hot and blue equals cold is a really common and powerful color association. The convention in cartography is to use colors that match people's associations and expectations. If I ignore that convention, I could complain all I want that people aren't looking at the legend, but it wouldn't matter. People would still misunderstand my map. It's better if I just reverse the color scheme. That makes my map easier to understand. What about these maps? Guess what? They're also mapping temperature. But the colors I chose are unconventional, so they might lead people to different assumptions. People just expect temperatures to be mapped with blues and reds. That doesn't mean that every temperature map needs to use the same color scheme, but it does mean that you should at least consider it. And to make an effective map, it's going to be your easiest option. Generally, if there's a color associated with the thing that you're mapping, you should use it. For example, here I'm mapping orange groves, so I will use orange. I also want to show some more context surrounding the groves, for example, water features. The conventional color for mapping water is blue, but you probably didn't need me to tell you that, did you? Blue is associated with water. Next, I want to show parks. And the convention for parks is green. Finally, I want to show urban areas. The convention here is less universal, but often urban areas, population, roads, and other signs of human development are shown in purples, pinks, or grays. These colors are seen as less natural and will hopefully contrast with the blues and greens of the natural features on your map. If there's a color associated with the thing that you're mapping, use it. Another example, if you're mapping election results, use the official colors of the winning parties. This advice might seem obvious, but double check your map before you publish it because it's surprisingly easy to miss something obvious. There are a few exceptions. For example, the cartographic convention for mapping race and ethnicity is to not use the colors associated with each race because we don't want to perpetuate harmful stereotypes. So the next time you have to choose colors for a map, first consider if there are any colors associated with the thing that you're mapping. Will using those colors help your map achieve its goals? If you want to learn more about cartographic conventions, I've written about it on ArcGIS blog. And if you want to learn more about choosing colors for maps, check out some of my other videos.